Temples and monasteries were usually built on the ground, and if there was no money, or it was necessary to hide from someone, then under the ground, in caves. It seems impossible to think of anything else, but the temple tells us otherwise. It turns out that in one of the northern provinces of China there is a so-called hanging temple, which seems to be attached to the rock at a height of 75 meters. It was built almost 1500 years ago, in 491, during the Northern Wei Dynasty. The Chinese call this temple complex Shuangkan Si. The monastery is near the sacred Hengshan Mountain, in Shaanxi Province, 65 kilometers southeast of the city of Datong. It looks as if the entire temple is held up on a steep cliff by the power of prayer. Perhaps prayers help because the temple is unique it is the only temple of three religions in China. It combines Buddhist, Taoist, and Confucian altars. It has everything that other temples have the main gate, the bells and drum towers, the main and side halls. The largest structure of the monastery is called Sangana, and it stands on a stone ledge. There are also 40 halls and pavilions, but they are smaller than the Sangana. They are built on pallets that lie on beams hammered into the rocks. The rock is used as the back wall of the rooms, and niches are made in it for statues. And the larger the niches, the more statues they contain and the larger they are. There are 80 bronze, iron, clay and stone statues in the monastery. The biggest of these is the statue of Tathata. The buildings are connected by passages, bridges and sidewalks. The monastery is built only of wood, without glue or nails. It's amazing how it has stood for a thousand and a half years it hasn't been blown away by a storm, ruined by earthquakes, its beams haven't rotted away, or eaten by bugs or termites. As it turned out, the Chinese soaked the wood in oil according to a clever technology, and it became very strong. And the parts of the structures are pinned together, and all the structures are movable. So all this beauty has become earthquake-proof. Structures were assembled from individual blocks below, then dragged upward on winches. The builders hung from ropes tied around their waists and around their feet. According to legends, the original Shuangkan Sea building was built by just one man, the monk Liao Ran. Over the next 16 centuries, the complex underwent many renovations and additions to the square, bringing the monastery to its present form. Since 1982 it has been protected as a national monument of China. And in December 2010 Shuangkan Sea was included in Time magazine. According to the publication, it is one of the 10 most dangerous buildings in the world. Xuanchuan Si an amazing and unique architectural creation, and at the same time, one of the ten most dangerous buildings in the world. In Chinese, Xuanchuan Si means the temple, floating in the air. The Xuanchuan Si monastery literally hangs between heaven and earth, far away from the hustle and bustle of the world. The buildings, like the nests of an exotic bird, at a high altitude as if stuck to a steep cliff. There is no other similar construction in the world. Xuanchuan Si is a unique place for spiritual practices.